What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a Monday spin, uh, one of those weekday matchups uh, that we definitely were not ready for. And we matched up against the guys over at Tactical Inc. And they had their way with us. Um, honestly, we never matched these guys before, but lots of respect to this. We knew they were a good clan coming in and uh, they really showed us what's up. This is actually probably the worst loss I think we have ever had 12 star victory for tactical inc just fantastic job to those guys over there now um a few reasons kind of in there uh that i think all led to this first of all the weekday wars for us a lot of guys had time issues you know no excuses but um it definitely does put a different sort of pressure on when people you know are back at their jobs it's not the weekend they don't have you know the same amount of time to plan so that definitely hurts um they did have a one town hall 11 advantage so that hurt a little bit but no excuse for a 12 star loss we did not show up to play today um and yeah it cost us big time now another thing that actually we recognized uh, in the midst of all this, which you got to take uh, some, you got to take wars like this with the grain of salt and figure out exactly what the deal was um, up top. Now, look at this one star, one star, one star, one star, like just not good. All these tens left on the board. We did have to use some bullies on the nines, even left things short all around. But what I was about to say was all of their 11s now uh, use box bases. Um, you don't see that a lot, um, primarily because, I mean, you know, these are good box bases. These aren't your run in the mill, just far more, far more box bases. These are actually well thought out and well designed box bases. Um, the idea is right to not prevent a, uh, an easy two star for a town hall 10. Right. So we immediately thought uh, a good strategy coming out the gate. Cause you don't see this a lot. Um, is to hit, you hit our use our 11s to hit these go for triple attempts because generally yeah you make it more difficult for a town hall 10 to two star you but you kind of leave the door open a little bit for your town hall 11s to maybe sneak a triple in well that just didn't happen for us it was just an absolute disaster for us from the get go I mean you start flipping through some of these bases just pure just just box bases it's very different. Then we're used to, um, we don't practice them a lot in friendly challenges. Uh, well, we at least used to not practice them a lot in friendly challenges. Um, however, I will say, uh, I, I'm kind of glad this happened because we definitely immediately recognized uh, something that we're very weak at as a clan. And that is taking care of business on these Town Hall 11 box bases. And as you can see, all the way through number seven, that's what it was. And uh, again, great, great job to Tactical Inc. You know, you really came out. You all ran these bases and it paid off for you guys immensely. Uh, wasted a ton of our Town Hall 11 attacks. Caused us to leave 11s on the board. Your Town Hall 9s had some great base building. We sucked balls at our Town Hall 9 this war. Um, leaving, you know, our Town Hall 10s having a dip. Uh, not really sure exactly what to do. And we are scrambling from the get-go and just was a horrible war for us and an awesome, awesome victory for these guys over at Tactical Inc. So really good job over there. Um, but with that being said, there is always some beautiful replays in there. So yeah, so let's take a sip of recap juice, head down to the bottom of the map. Mm -mm. Mike O. Mike is very, very, very good at bringing these, these just cool attacks. Like look at this army comp. Uh, six healers, two P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, eight baby dragons, uh, and bowlers, I believe, in the CC. So uh, the idea here, Mike's going to just get the funnel going, drop this queen walk, yank the, uh, yank the CC out to the queen. Has the two P.E.K.K.A.s and the king. He's going to use this, the way he funneled this side off, he's going to use the P.E.K.K.A.s just to walk up, take care of that defensive king, immediately get that air defense out of the way, and just kind of move the king and the bowlers into the base and get gut the core. Uh, so you can see Queen's doing her job, poison down, rage is down, CC troops are dead. P.E.K.K.A.s go down with a couple of healers on them, keep them going nice and dandy. Goes ahead and drops his king here, I believe, here in one second as well. P.E.K.K.A.s immediately lock on to that defensive king, and in just two quick smacks, down goes that defensive king. Those Pekkas are just going to start busting through that wall. Look at this. Like two shots. The Pekkas are in. Sorry, three shots, I guess. But they are into that compartment. Open things up. Bowlers go down. Just going to start forcing everything into the base. Now, does not bring any jumps. Uses the Pekkas, right? I do this with Valks. Um, uses the Pekkas to his advantage. And 
just tries to keep things controlled. One thing I find about jump spells at Town Hall 9, I use a lot of Valks attacks. I've shown you guys my blue healer attack. The main reason um, I do not bring healer, or sorry, jump spells, is because you kind of want only, the only one pathway to open up for your troops. And when that happens, your troops kind of end up all going in the same direction. Now, this Tesla goes down. There's a little bit of damage to those P.E.K.K.A.s. Everything does sort of pitter out in this compartment, meaning everything, meaning the uh, P.E.K.K.A.s and Baby D. Or sorry, and the King. What am I talking about? Been a long day for me. But the Baby D's around the, right? He had six more of them. Most of the air defense are down. Bowlers are about to take care of that last air defense with six Baby D's working around the base with a queen in there with four healers still doing work with a bunch of bowlers in there doing cleanup as well there's really nothing left of this base there's this expo compartment up here that's doing work on that uh baby d but doesn't even quite get in it queen steps up and take care of that expo on the outside we got a few more defenses to go but this base is definitely done for a couple baby d's couple minis and his queen ability still holding on to that doesn't need it whatsoever nice swag by mike O. fantastic attack buddy very very sexy tree in the bag Right, moving on. A lot of nice ten on uh, nine attacks in there, right? But I got a few tens to show you. Um, don't want to. A lot of people complain when I show too many Town Hall 9 attacks. So we're just going to step right up to number 30. Derp Badoo going in uh, with this Stone Hobo attack. Very, very, very effective, guys, on certain bases. Uh, if you can break it down, if you can get those golems into the core of the base to do all that just beautiful tanking for your bowlers. You're going to have really good success with 17 hogs on the back end. Uh, the the bowlers just give insane push into the base. The golems do all the tanking. Heroes going behind. And you just gut the core of the base. And the idea is using, uh, using your hogs just like a normal stone goho. Uh, just kind of feeding through. But there's just so much less pressure on the hogs to get it done um you can even see his bowlers kind of take a bit of a hike here i believe yeah they go up did not want that you want all your bowlers jumping into the core goes ahead and rages goes ahead and poisons that cc here in one second down it goes man that that cc comp i can't believe the last why did we just had a war against cole september actually that just finished today i will show you guys the results of that if you haven't checked that out on twitter yet but it was a great war uh I had an attack though, uh, the, the all goblin, 20 goblins, and one baby drag CC. It can be pretty deadly, man. I had, I misplaced my poison like by half tile so that the goblins got to my queen and were out of the poison and actually took her down just very quickly. Just very frustrating for me. Obviously, I was really pissed off. But as you see, not a lot left for the hogs to take care of. They're going to move through a couple mortars, one more compartment. This king does pose a little bit of threat. It can get some serious damage done to your hogs, right? Especially with no heal spell there. But there's just far too many hogs to go. Uh, end up getting the getting the arch tower, getting the cannon, and still having enough to turn around on that defensive king there. Take it care of. Or oh my god, what a, what an off day. Oh, I'm going to stumble on my words this whole recap. I know it. Anyhow, as you can see, has just enough. I watched his attack live. And I was like, no, I don't know if he's going to do it. There, was, there must have been seconds left in the raid. But he literally had just enough hogs to do work. Has the nice cleanup wizard down there helping out. This wizard, actually, I believe, really, this barracks is going to be the last building to go down. And, uh, yeah, there's only seconds left in the raid. But nice job, Derp Dew's tree in the bag, buddy. Ka-blam. All right, moving on. I'm 27. Bucko going on. Brett, 27 versus 27 action, right? Uh, some cool base designs actually in Town Hall 9 here by Tactical Inc. Very, very, again, just I think from top to bottom, the base designs for Tactical Inc. were just very interesting. Some A lot of things we hadn't seen before. Uh, maybe we just weren't 100% sure how to react to them. Uh, as you can see, you know, very these, these very exposed air defense attacks, we usually can really exploit these kind of bases um, with dragons. And we just couldn't get it done this war again. Like I said, it was just all around a really rough, tough, uh, not good war for us at all town hall levels. Uh, just one of those ones that got away from us completely. And uh, by the time it was over and done with, uh, Tactical Link was ahead by 12 stars. So just a beautiful job by them. Poison's down, right? Queen's going in. Really good job here, right? Just kind of using these compartments to lead his troops right to where he wants them to go. There's no, there's no like kind of windy compartments where you worry about your troops going the wrong way. Jump spells are very clear. going to let everything right to what he wants. Gets the hogs going in, starting to take care of some of those defenses, just protecting the, protecting what's left of his Valks and his heroes there in the core. 
right? Just two at a time, two at a time, getting them in on all these point defense. Tesla's on the outside, pose a little bit of issue here, loses a few hogs, right? Uh, a couple hogs there, a couple hogs there, because those Teslas are great placements. Just overall very tricky base designs, and uh, nice job by Tactical Link on that one. Uh, but Bucko comes through here by the skin of his teeth. A couple valves to go. See, these golems barely took any damage. Probably could have got away with one freaking golem here. But really on this side, it's just a matter of cleanup. Just got to get his queen over there. Drops his hog even a little bit preemptively. Is being tanked by the queen. Uh, does that to protect the queen, actually. She's going to work on that wall here for a sec. That hog goes down. But everything kind of just ends up meeting up around this uh, two to, uh, 1 to 2 o'clock location. Finish off the rest of this base. Bucko comes away with the tree. So he even loses his queen there. No, hits the ability. Good job. No little trolls in the corner or anything like that. Just a very, uh, very basic design and swag hog to boot. Nice job, Bucko. Boom. Mm -mm -mm. Leo Liger. This guy continues to impress me with these Lalo attacks. Just really good job, right? He's going to go ahead and send in this cold blooded Lalo. Just goes ahead and drops it at this Tesla at 12 o'clock. Quick wizard to help things out. Would have been nice if he could just drop that wizard a little higher. It would have conserved it a little bit, but fine. No big deal. Opens up the wall. Let's that golem right on in. He's got to go ahead and continue the funnel, but doesn't really because because uh, I've talked about this before. These walls, these compartments that are right against the edge of the map, you just let things into your base so quickly, and it just doesn't seem... 100% sensible to me. I mean, just having some trash just, just causes room for error. That's really what Town Hall 9 attacks are coming down to. Poison goes down. A bunch of minis come out. Poison is going to take care of that. Valk follows up behind, but it doesn't matter. Boom, boom, boom. Down go all the minis. Queen's taking care of the Valk. Down it goes. CC is now dead. King's in there with that ability going. The air defense is down anyways. That's all he really wanted to take care of was the CC, the Queen, and an, and an air defense process. It is Dunsies. Couple hounds are in. First air defense is getting tanked. Sends in a few balloons, just kind of sprinkling it in. Nice little raise spell. Take care of that expo. Balloons are just going to path in a very, very nice sort of counterclockwise rotation now around the base. Hounds move across to that air defense, which I thought was interesting, but has this max hound there. Eat two air mice to the face. That was absolutely perfect because he definitely wants that max hound to burst. It's going to move on over and help those up, that other hound over there. Right? Needs these hounds to burst here. I believe he gets them just in time there goes one that max hound does not have much health left it's going to go down very 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 quickly as well and kablam pops at the perfect time right when the balloons right over top of it they don't even need to drop a bomb they just crash onto that air defense and take it out a lot of trolley sort of buildings on the outside but as you can see got a million pups bunch of loons they're all going to path on over to that tesla there and take it out and it is gg for this base Nice little haste spell there for an unnecessary haste spell, but takes it out. Tree in the bag for Leo. Nice job, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Endless. Three, level three. Who donates two bowlers? Oh, wait. He felt, no, two bowlers. Really? Really, Mock? <laughs> I always complain about that. <laughs> like, who donates two bowlers? Look at all these friendly challenges. I love it. Uh, what is next? What do I have? I think we're in a, some Town Hall 10. There's a, there is a few as crummy as we did. Uh, PJ comes away with one here. Goes ahead and uses 19 miners, 9 bowlers, a couple golems. Kind of forget what I ha he has in the CC. I watched these all yesterday. I did a video with Grady. Still kind of working on this. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, still kind of working on a tutorial video. Not really a tutorial video. I don't know how to explain it. It's more of a base breakdown and... Uh, planning and scouting video i guess we'll call it um anyhow pj going in all the bowlers are in walls open jump is down golems in there tanking king finally takes a little bit of action from that inferno but no big deal poisons down to take care of the cc troops queen's in there is going to step up as soon as that gold mine go or gold storage goes down so you can step up take care of the rest of the cc troops down they go defensive queen is down lots of good stuff on this entry here right inferno tower uh he got really good value on that entry here come the miners basically from this nine o'clock the lower section at nine o'clock they're just going to work in a clockwise or uh, clockwise rotation now around the base keeps them healed tries to drop a wizard help keep everything pushed towards that inferno tower uh one thing i thought was interesting is this te uh this tesla right here now pause all right so see these teslas zoom in a little bit if those teslas were not in that compartment 
the miners would have went from here to the gold mine. Even if that building was, why do I keep calling it a mine? See, see, I'm so out of it today. This gold storage, even if that building was down out there, they would then would have went to the arch tower. Then they would have went probably, I want to say almost on because there's three spaces to the, uh, to the uh, inferno tower. Well, if they're on this corner, it's, it's, it is closer to that storage. And then they're just going to go around. And I've seen it happen. They completely miss the Inferno Tower. But because the Teslas were there, it sucks the miners right in. And they just instantly lock onto that Inferno Tower and basically one shot it. So down goes the Inferno Tower. Double heals, right, because of the bombs there. Keeps them alive. Keeps them going. Has that wizard help and keep everything pushed around the base. Still has the queen doing work with her ability. Has one more heal spell he's about to use right over top of basically this expo section. I think he wants to save him from when this wizard tower locks onto the miners because that is key. Has a lot of them go up and around. No real troll buildings on the outside. Finally hits that queen ability to work through the base. She almost gets his cannon, I want to say, or she does get the cannon. That's right. So now goes the cannon. Down goes the wizard tower. Still has the heal. Maybe even swags the heal because she is going to step up now because the expo. No, oh, no, it turns the locks. I knew the queen died in this raid. But really, with one heal and only an expo and a cannon to remain, there's no way possible it is going to hold off that many miners and a bowler and wizard backing it up. Nice freaking job, PJ. Sexy tree star, buddy. Hmm. All right. That's what I had. So that was 19. Let's move up to a 16. Good old Mac just donated me bullets. <laughs> exact same army comp. Two golems, 19 miners, eight uh, bowlers. Oh, I'm going to kill my cats. Seriously. I don't know. They, okay, my cats are sisters. Had them now for, I don't know, I want to say six years. They have never been like this. They are literally all two weeks have been at each other's throats. And I'm not talking like just kind of tussling. I mean like every time they come close to each other, it's like, I'm going to kill you. Ah. And it's really, really frustrating because I don't know what happened. I don't know. All of a sudden they're not friends anymore. But oh, well, is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And that's going in the exact same way, just from the opposite direction. So he's going to get a jump spell over. He's going to take care of the queen, take care of the CC, get a lot of good stuff out of this entry. Defensive King, which I always talk about when you're using miners, to me, at least my experience right now, the one of the biggest things that is a, a is thwarts your miners is the Defensive King. They seem to take, I swear to God, maybe it's just me. I swear my troops act differently than when I watch these guys do the attack, do these attacks. So I'm telling you, down in Invicta, I I I try using miners. I farm all day with miners on my town on ten. I just struggle and struggle and struggle. And part of the reasons I find are just I get held up on. I don't recognize. I can't recognize where these sections are that I'm going to get held up on that really do serious damage to the miners. Like this town hall, right? They're taking out the town hall without even being in a range of those Teslas. So that's perfect, right? Heal spell down. Taking care of them. Just perfect placement on the spells. Good job on the deployment. Just great value on the entry. Like even still has this queen there with the ability backing it up. One more heal to go. He's going to use it for this Inferno Tower area. Just really needs these miners kind of on the bottom section. I'm all meet up here. See what I mean here? I believe maybe because of the skellies. Yeah, see, they all go around. Oh, the queen gets it. That's right. But you'll see. Oh, I hope it's still alive. He only gets one or two miners. The rest go to the outside, and they're all going to go around. Those miners, if that queen was not there... Those miners would not have taken out that Inferno, and it would still be standing. They would just work their way around and into all this stuff that Inferno Tower would have killed them off. But Queen, Hero Queen, steps up, saves the day. That's going to be a tree star for my buddy Endless slash Mac. Beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Right, moving on. I think I got one more to show you. We're going to call it a day. Good old Effie. This guy is just a beast. I love having this guy back at 2.0 or the family in general. I just, he is such a godsend. Just tripling 10 after 10. Uh, didn't get a six pack this war, but I think that's the first war in a few. He hasn't had a six pack. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is just absolutely tearing it up for us. So slightly different comp. He goes more of a mass miner, only uses one golem. Uh, so brings 26 miners, gets the funnel created with that baby D, a couple wizards on the other side. In goes the king. Wall is open. Queen's going to follow. He's going to drop those bowlers right on in with everything as well. Same idea. Let's go ahead and jump right on into that inferno. There goes the jump spell. Everything's going to wander right into this compartment just perfectly. Raid spell goes down. Let's smash through all the stuff. Inferno tower is going to get blasted here in one sec. 
only base we didn't see with a with a two space inferno tower compartment uh, maybe this project mayhem guy i don't know um kind of some interesting thoughts but really like that that's what you're leaving yourself susceptible to because everything's just going to walk right in and target that inferno tower right away and it's going to go down very very quickly so you're gonna have to hit that queen ability ah, just in time right he's dropping his miners i knew that was going to be very very close but gets it just in time queen steps up she's going to get taken out here eventually but he's got just enough like he brought those extra miners now so um although he doesn't have his queen helping on the mop up he's got i believe what a, whatever a seven or eight extra miners now they're going to start working through the base they get right in onto this core so just kind of perfect and because of this guy not having those Inferno Tower compartments that we see on every base nowadays. Miners just target right into the right into the Inferno Towers. And that becomes a big problem. Nice little heal spell goes down right as soon as that bomb goes off. There's not that many defenses to go. There is, is sort of this Arch Tower Mortar on the outside. Bunch of little random point defenses. As soon as this Wizard Tower goes down... Really, the major threats are taken care of. There's a couple, a couple, few cannons, few arch towers, but there are still so many miners left. There is no chance whatsoever. Give us a little bit of times too, while the miners do their cleanup action, work through the rest of this stuff. Boom! Down goes the arch tower. Threats on this side are basically taken care of. Just got to lock onto that cannon here in one moment. Down it goes. Miners on the other side take care of the arch tower. That's a tree star in the bag for my buddy Effie. Nice job. Oh, little troll hut in the corner. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. All right. So, sort of a quick recap. Again, when you have a 12-star loss, <laughs> there's not a lot of good to show. <laughs> it sucks. But hey, we all got to take it. You know, we go from we go from beating Poetic Darkness to taking a 12-star loss to Tactical Inc. So, <laughs> I don't know. Any given Sunday, my friends. Any given Sunday. That's how it works in Clash of Clans. I don't care if... Uh, you know, you're the most well-known clan in the world. There's going to be days where you're, everyone has off days, and, and, that's, how, and that's how it goes. And uh, again, like I said, being a, being a Tuesday war, no, everyone wasn't really in it. You know, we had never matched Tactical Inc. I mean, not, I, 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 don't take me wrong. I'm not trying to take anything away from Tactical Inc. But, you know, you got to check these guys out. I personally, for as long as I've been around, I had never even heard of these guys. And, you know, 335 war wins. Maybe I should have heard of these guys because they kicked our ass ass so they are for real this is an awesome clan guys um you know part of it too is i deal a lot of i do a lot of our twitter stuff and they just recently got up and running on twitter so go ahead and give these guys uh, a follow on twitter you know check them out they are the real deal ewa member you know the uh, fair play war clan these guys are absolutely awesome and they showed us what's up just absolutely smashed our uh, our bases so really nice job thank you for the war tactical inc hopefully next time we can uh, i'd love to arrange with you guys because uh, we need a re we need a reshot at this one because <laughs> we did not give you our best i promise you that so hopefully we meet again but until then you guys got the uh you guys get the trophy for sure just fantastic victory uh, all around for you guys so beautiful job tactical inc 2.0 not so much but I still love everyone in this clan, and obviously I'm part of this clan, so it uh, it is what it is. We didn't show up. Uh, we didn't show up on this day, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to rectify ourselves down the road. But whatever, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help a bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.